Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gianna. And today I wanted to talk about my favorite products for this lovely oily skin that I have. Um, so I really enjoy having a glowing, dewy look, but when you have oily skin, those don't really go together. And after a lot of trial and error, I've landed on a handful of products that like really save me and let me enjoy using liquid, blushes, highlighters, um, and not looking like an oil slick. So let's dive right in. My first product is from Cosrx, and it's their BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And it's a 4% BHA, which is a beta hydroxy acid. Got it. It's a variation of salicylic acid, which if you're acne prone, you've probably heard of because it's in those like Stridex pads that you use to get rid of really stubborn acne. And this liquid has just been a complete game changer since I added it to my skincare routine. So this BHA is a chemical exfoliant and the special thing about it is that it's oil soluble. So it's really able to get into the pores and clear out the dead skin cells from within instead of just on the surface, which is really helpful if you're like me and you have congested pores, those closed comedones that are just like, lead to really uneven skin texture. And it's just such an annoying thing because they never come to actual whiteheads. So it's really difficult to get rid of, but this has seriously helped me. I used to get really bad closed comedones on my cheeks and my forehead and my nose. And since adding this, like, I can just tell if I haven't been following my routine of using this every other day because it is just, they come back with such a vengeance. Maybe you have sensitive skin that reacts poorly to too strong of acids and this one is just so gentle. I didn't experience any peeling or flaking or tightness that I had experienced previously and so that's why I'm able to use it pretty much every other day and still have healthy skin. So my next product is also a skincare product and it's from Sunday Riley. It's their UFO oil. And I had tried a sample of this from Sephora and I stretched that baby out as long as I could because it was so great to my skin. So it's similar to the BHA that I just mentioned, but what's different about it is that it also has tea tree oil and black cumin seed oil, which helps combat those regular breakouts. Like if I have redness or pimples that aren't coming to a head and even cystic acne, which I really have suffered with around that time of the month, I've noticed a significant reduction in those kind of blemishes. And similar to the BHA, if I stopped using this, I remember I was, went on vacation and I didn't have the full bottle yet, I just had the sample and it spilled in my bag, so I didn't have any. And I was like, my face feels absolutely disgusting, it just felt so clogged. I really like that I can use this to target my clogged pores and just the regular run-of-the-mill acne that I get. And it never leaves my face feeling greasy. It's a drier oil, so it just sinks in really quickly, and it might just be me that enjoys this, but it smells so strongly of licorice, and I just like that feeling of that everyone can smell me when I'm walking around uh, before it's fully absorbed because I just smell like licorice. And I just use this on days when I'm not using the BHA. Definitely wouldn't use them both in the same day, but I only literally use one drop of this, and it covers my entire face. So this, even though it was like $50, will last me a really long time. Okay, my next product is Rosehip Oil. Um, for an oily skin person, I really am loving these oils. This oil is made with pressed rosehip seeds. So it's a, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means, but it makes my skin feel so plump and moisturized. And I like to mix this, like only two drops with my CeraVe PM moisturizer, just mix that in together and I apply it before I go to bed and when I wake up my skin is just so plump and healthy feeling and I truly believe it's mostly due to this. I also love it because it's so great at fading dark spots and if you suffer from hyperpigmentation you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like anytime I get a pimple it will always 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 leave a dark spot that takes forever to fade which is just very annoying when I've gotten rid of the breakout, but I still have like any marks of it left behind. So this, combined with a couple other products that I use, which is a completely different story for tackling hyperpigmentation, um, but it really does wonders, and I definitely would recommend it. My last skincare product is also by Cosrx, and it's their Low pH Good Morning Cleanser. And I actually use this one at night because it's just really soothing, the smell. It has tea tree oil in it, tea tree oil is back at it and it really shines in this cleanser. It works phenomenally to get rid of 
to get rid of any inflammation that I might have on my face, any red areas I notice, they really get a good soothing with this. And the most important thing in a cleanser for me is that it does not make my skin feel tight or dry. I know some cleansers, they almost just like strip all the oils, like, oh, you have oily skin, we will, we will get rid of every single drop of oil that you have, and it just is not a good feeling to have this, like, it reminds you of, like, rubber boots squeaking, or if you've ever, like, dried glue on your fingertips, and then it's all, like, pulling together, and then you peel it apart, that's what it feels like on your skin. But I use this one specifically, I've been using it for about a year in the evenings after I do my oil cleanse, so I double cleanse with this to get rid of any residue and just get deeper within the pores with that tea tree oil. And it's just a really solid product. It's not very expensive, like $11, so I would seriously recommend it if you're looking for a good gentle cleanser that will still show results. Moving on to my favorite makeup products for oily skin. First I have the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It's perfect for getting into your T-zone and it does exactly what it says it will do. It kind of fills in your pores and blurs them a little bit. So it's perfect for when I'm doing a more dewy makeup look and I'm worried about having it, the dewiness extend to the center of my face because then it's not really a glow, it's more of just like a, like a slip. It's like a puddle on your face. So I don't use the blur stick every single day, but if I'm going to wear foundation, I wear it because I definitely notice a difference when I don't. My next product is a classic. It's Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I think we've all seen this purple tube. And it just is such... It's such a workhorse. I feel like all of my oily skin makeup products are workhorses because when you have hooded lids and oily skin, like you are going to crease and you need to prime. And sometimes I tr think that I can just get away with not doing that, and I will just have the most disturbing lines of eyeshadow just getting into the, the folds. It's offensive, so don't, don't think you can get away with not using a primer. Just go pick up this Urban Decay one, and you use like a drop, it lasts forever. It's good. So if you have oily skin, you might also have an oily scalp, like me, and these will be your best friends. I love dry shampoo to help me extend my hair a little longer between washes so that I'm not constantly just stripping my hair of its oil and then also because my hair is color treated that would mean straightening my hair much more frequently which means even more damage. So these two are lifesavers. Um, this one is from Tarte, it's their Hair Goals dry shampoo and then this one is from Herbal Essences I, and it smells like grapefruit. It's really delicious and this one is really great for a lot of volume and this just soaks up oil like instantaneously. Oh another reason why these are so great is that now as we're getting into the colder months at least here in New York I'm just constantly feeling the wind like whip through my hair which can't be good for it so that's another reason why I don't want to be washing my hair super super frequently and these are just really great for helping me get my hair back to helping me get my hair back on track and healthy um, without having to constantly strip it of nutrients. So overall, in combating or working with my oily skin, these products have seriously been lifesavers for me. If you're trying to control the oil on your face, skincare is definitely the first place to start so you can prevent your face from creating excess oil to begin with. And that's really helped me keep using all the liquid and cream blushes and highlighters and serums that I love to use without having an like, oil slick on my face. I would definitely start with skincare and just take it from there because that is the building block of your beauty routine. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you if you have oily skin. These are just a couple of my faves, but let me know what you're using if you've used these um, and would recommend anything similar. I'm always looking for new favorites to try out. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.